Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So in this week's Oracle Card Guidance, we have option one, option two, and option three. They're all shells and I have no idea where I've picked them up along the way, but um, I felt they were the right, they had the right energy to work with today's guidance. So go ahead, make your selection, and I'm going to go ahead and begin with option number one. So for those of you who've chosen the first option, we're asking, what is our Oracle guidance for the week? What is it that we need to know at this moment? I feel that it's this card here. And the card is number 11, and it says play. So I feel that... Um, well, the card is basically telling you to play and uh, developing that lightness of being is an important part of this. And um, in order to be able to just do that, one needs to sometimes release and to let go of things that we cannot necessarily work through. So this card is talking about being seeking that time of play because that's the only thing that's actually going to be your solution for this time. It's the only thing that's going to bring you what you need right now. So if you're feeling a bit stressed or a bit frustrated or you're feeling bitter about something or you're feeling just tired and wondering when difficulty is going to come to an end, what they're saying is that release yourself from it because if you release yourself from it, you are going to find this lightness of being inside of you and you're going to find that you enjoy yourself. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you're not taking care of things or that you're not doing what is necessary to be done as far as resolving things. But rather that if you just allow yourself to play, if you allow that love to come in, if you allow that semblance of joy um, to allow your spirit to sing, then you are going to find that in that moment you're okay. And then you're going to realize that all other moments beyond that are just moments and it's nothing else. It's something that every moment exists in its entirety by itself. And as you go along in this week, remember that if there are things that happen that are unpleasant or things that happen that frustrate you, just remember that you can release yourself from it and you can actually play. It's like you don't need to be grounded at this moment. It can be that you float above things, that you can float above the problems that you may have or the difficulties that you may face. If you're faced with colleagues that are a bit difficult to deal with or if you feel that you have too many pressures on you or if you feel that things are raining down on you too hard, the card actually tells you here to go ahead and try to enjoy yourself. Try to find that lightness of being again and try to find where is it that you've lost that? Where is it that you can cultivate that in you again? And if it's been that you've had a few stressful weeks now and you haven't been able to have fun or you haven't been able to really enjoy yourself and actually just laugh and be relaxed and just um, feel joy, then make an extra effort to be able to do that and note when you are finding yourself unwinding it might be that you're in the middle of a work day and things are quite intense and, and busy and notice those few moments when you find that you're unwinding and you are beginning to feel that lightness and feel what that feels like and remember that and gravitate towards that as the week goes along. Gravitate towards that and if you feel that you are overwhelmed and you have too many things at your um, that, that you need to do, simply recognize that moments in between everything that you need to do can be filled with joy pockets of joy pockets of happiness pockets of bliss and with that you can make some headway with that you can actually um, get through this time and come to the end of it and know that it will be okay so I know I'm speaking a lot about difficulties and being overwhelmed and uh, being um you know, having too many responsibilities, but this is the, the, the energy I'm getting from this card. It's like a busy, hectic time that you're having. And, um, and it's, you need to find that, that moment of peace within you. So for instance, if all of this represents different types of, um, difficulties that you may be experiencing or simply things that it might not even be difficulties. It might be that you're enjoying yourself, but you're feeling overwhelmed by everything that you need to do. 
recognize that there is a moment in all of this where you can go within you and go into the light that is yours and restore yourself through this light and find yourself again regardless of what's going on around you regardless of what others are saying to you if they may be saying things that are harsh and trying to break you down or saying things uh, or doing things which are undermining or passive aggressive regardless of any of that behavior from others around you you may go in and find that light within you and that lightness within you the emphasis is on finding that lightness within you in this time all right so that is the message for you um it feels like very basic very straightforward message for those of you who've chosen this option here i apologize that the light is not so good today um i couldn't quite i lost the the, the perfect hour to to record this video and I just haven't been able to find a proper light to shoot this under. So I do hope you can see this nevertheless and that you have enjoyed the message. I wish you a fabulous light week and may you actually have lots of fun in this time. For those of you who've chosen this option here, we're asking what is our message and what is our guidance for this week? What is it that we need to know at this moment? So the card is number 18 and it talks about mentors and role models. And while most people might read this card as actually seeking mentors and seeking role models because they may have a message for you at this moment and may, that may be one of the messages. What I feel here is that you have come to a stage in your life where you may be a mentor and a role model for others for that which you have learned already. It is telling me here that there's a, as, there's a feeling of a completion, there's a feeling of having develop something within you that you can actually share with others and that you can actually uh, give and and to others something that would benefit others and they're showing me also that this is not just a, this is a very balanced energy it's not just one type of energy here it's like you have more than one type of energy that is helping inform your decisions helping you inform your thought processes process yeah processes <laughs> excuse me and actually helping you to understand that wisdom that you need to have within you right now it's also showing me that you are switched on so to say and um, switched into your intuitive uh, abilities right now and able to access information that comes from beyond you that is guiding you and and helping you along so this is a week in which not only do you can you seek out mentorship and role models but you may be in that role um, and play that role for others around you the other message I'm getting here is that if you feel during this week that you are being a bit rigid or you are choosing only one path or you're being a bit stubborn in your decisions, it's okay for you to do that. It's okay for you to actually be stubborn uh, about something or just be insistent upon something. And it's okay for you to actually choose that path which is a very distinct path you don't need to uh, compromise here and there is no need for you to um to mince your words or to say something because you need to please others or to actually uh, try to meld in or, or or merge in with others you can stand by yourself in a quite distinctly and be quite loud and be quite assertive about what it is that you want to say or what it is that you want to do in this week and it's important for you to know that you don't need to dilute it or to mince it in any in, in, in any way it's fine for you to go along as you feel like and speak off the cuff and it will be fine all right so if you have said something or do or done something and then you've thought about it later on and you thought well you know i'm not sure if that was the right thing to have done the the card here is saying it's okay it's absolutely fine you've you've done well and don't second guess yourself all right so that is your message for this week it's um quite a distinct message and i feel well i hope that it will help you and i hope that it resonates with you and i feel like um some of these things will come to bear later in the week for you like on thursday or friday so watch out for that then and see if it does resonate with you all right i'm wishing you a lovely week ahead and i hope that you are able to step into this role uh, of being a mentor or being a role model to others and also being open to the to the guidance that you're receiving right now so many blessings to you
for those of you who have chosen this option here, be asking, what is our guidance in the week ahead? So the card here is number 20 and it, the caption is clear the path. And I feel here that even though um, this card may be read in many, many ways, and I'm just going to tell you what's coming up for me here. I feel that for some of you, it's time to clear the path to be able to make way for new people in your life, to be able to make way for a relationship, to be able to make way for love in your life, to be able to make way for partnership. Because it might be that... Um, there's something that's stopping that from happening. There's some kind of clutter, whether it's your thought patterns, whether you don't believe that it's going to happen for you, or maybe you don't believe that it's meant for you, or you don't think that it'll happen for you. Um, if those are the thoughts that you're having, it's saying to you to clear the path and to clear your thoughts as well, because here it feels very much like you can actually have what it is that you desire if you only you open your mind to it and it might be you know in some cases for you it will be a partnership it'll be somebody that you can share your, your life with or somebody that you can um, share hobbies with or someone that you can actually uh, merge with um, in a financial way and and form a financial partnership or some kind of thing where you bring your assets together and you actually make something come from it and for others of you it could be like you find a travel partner that you may they that you may go around with for some of you it might actually be making an investment in terms of with yourself uh, and allowing that you the space to be able to make that investment in yourself whether it means a per, making a purchase that's going to be some kind of investment for you or doing something that's going to help you to mobilize you in some kind of way and that helps you shine the light on a particular area of your life this card is saying clear the path so that you may shine your attention on that area of your life which you need to and um, also allow yourself to actually do the things that you love doing you've made the choices that you have because you love to do the things that you want to do most of the time most of your choices are made because you want to actually enjoy doing something that you've done that you've been doing so clear the path so that you can actually enjoy yourself and you have the power to do this and only you have the power to do this so what what it's saying also is that there is a feeling here that there's clutter and there's something to be cleared up there's something that needs to be cleared up whether it's you know physical or in your home or whether it's something that is outside of you or in your mind that needs a path needs to be cleared so that you may go forth so that you may make progress so that you can go beyond stagnation and so that you may not um you may not delve deeper in in stagnation but actually move ahead and there's this feeling of mobility there's this feeling of being of movement here and it can become even more emphasized and more uh, um radiant if you were to clear that path, if you were to open that way for you so that you may go ahead and um, and experience these new things. And there's this thing which is also saying, well, don't be reliant on others to do this. Take action and do it by yourself and stop postponing it as well. There's this feeling like, you know, like you've been waiting for something else to come along so that you can do it. Or you've been waiting for a certain day in which you can do it or you've been postponing something so that you can do it later on. No, don't do it later on. Do it right now. Clear your path right now, regardless of what is in your way, regardless of what it is that's standing in your way, whether it's an illness or whether it's um, a person or whether it's um, any set of circumstances. Clear your path so that you can actually do what it is that you're passionate about and what it is that you've chosen to do. All right, so that is your message here for those of you who've chosen uh, this option. And I hope that it actually has helped you and that um, it does resonate with you. So I want to thank all of you who've come by today. I know that the messages have been fairly short and um, quite specific. <laughs> so I hope that it has been of help to you anyway. And I wish you a fabulous week ahead as you go ahead and... Um, much love to you all. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.